crafty community this is sherry i want to share with you a journal that i made for my crafty franchisee her birthday is in july i made this journal for her birthday and i'm going to be shipping it to her today so i wanted to film it real quick and share with you what i made i made a dangly charm for her journal some book jewelry i watched a bunch of youtube journals or youtube tutorials to get um, some good information on how to make one and um, it turned out, you know, really cute and I think she's going to enjoy that and I love the sound that they make when you lay them down and when you play with them. So um, that is on the outside. You'll probably notice I use the twine binding method, which to me is super easy and I enjoy that method and use it quite a bit when I make a journal. Um, not that I've made a ton of journals, but um, for the ones that I've made, I use this method pretty frequently. I did use some red, white, and blue vintage looking papers. Most of these are from an authentic paper collection that has the word farm in it. I think it's like farm garden or something along that or somewhere on the farm or something. This trim is something new that I learned recently that I incorporated into this journal. So much fun. I will link the video below of the YouTuber that I learned it from. Uh, her name's not coming to me right now. I think it's 49 Dragonflies, though. And um, she took simple masking tape. You put scraps on the sticky part, and then you run it through the sewing machine. I did do a lot of sewing for this journal, unlike what I normally do. So um, super easy. And talk about a fun way to use your scraps. And it looks so neat on the journal. So I've got old book pages and then some of the scraps. I just tore them up from the scraps from this collection. So super fun. And I am, that's something I'm going to continue doing in, in my journaling and in my crafting. The book cover is made out of a box and I collaged the box. I just collaged right onto the cardboard. It's held together with masking tape parts of it. Masking tape, I used a lot in this journal also. I got that idea from Amity Bloom. She's like, it looks vintage and she's she's totally right about that. So let's flip through some of the pages. There's old music that I um, had given to me that I used. I put some of the elements from the paper collections in here. So that's a little flip out and it's an envelope. I used some of my vintage washi. This was really fun to do. Um, there's just graph paper. I did choose some papers from my, I think it's just a paper pad that has a bunch of thin vintage papers. And I do like the thin papers for journaling um, because then your book doesn't get too bulky too fast. Here's some labels. These are from the Dollar Tree but they're kind of craft colored, so I thought they would look good on here. I tried a coffee dyeing method where you just basically make instant coffee and brush it on. <laughs> Talk about easy, so I brushed it onto the back of these uh, vintage looking papers, and that was fun. So took some of the scraps and sewed them to this vellum. This vellum looks distressed because when I added it to this signature to, this book there was more signature than there was space so some of the bottom of this vellum actually it's parchment got roughed up so it looks even more vintage here's some old music paper from an old music book tried to pick some songs that were about summertime or the home garden this paper i made a folder out of super fun sewed a, a fabric scrap there this was fun to make. Cut flower shapes out of book paper. I doubled them up so they'd have a little, be a little substantial. Then I sewed these old buttons to it and made a little button card out of it, like you would find, you know, at Joann's or Hobby Lobby. Gave her a page of those craft colored labels. Also, I found some washi in the sewing section of Hobby Lobby that it has to do with bees and flowers and stuff. And it came with this. Um, embroidery floss holder. So super fun. Shared that with my friend. For this journal, I did make some 
fun tags. They were fun to make, I mean. They are vintage looking. I used old napkin on this and a, a butterfly gifted to me by Mrs. Valley. And that was really fun. I sewed the edges and I made, I made like six of them, I think, for this journal, maybe seven. So I scattered them throughout the journal. This little envelope I got from your creative studio and I put some more elements of the paper collection in there. Love these teeny tiny paper clips by Tim Holtz. If I find those again, I'm definitely going to grab some more because I'm starting to run out. Used the paper strip from that music and just sewed it on top of this. This paper is coffee dyed paper and, or maybe tea dyed, I'm not sure, but Chassie made it for me, the lady who I made this journal for. And I've been hoarding it, not wanting to use it because it, it's all that I have in my, in my stash. But I took it out and I used one of my Planner Society stamps on it. She's holding a basket of flowers. She looks very gardenish. Took a quote, wanted to live in the country and made this little card for the journal. It turned out super cool. And that was easy and fun to do. And I finally broke into my coffee paper stash. And I'll have to keep using them. This is another one of those tags that I made. I'm trying to get to my scraps, see what I have, and start using them. I made another one of the button flower things. This is the other side of that folder page. So we're on the other side of that signature. And this is the first trim or fringe that I made with the masking tape method. And it turned out so sweet. So these were scraps that were just sitting on my, my desk have some fabric scraps and lace scraps and some paper scraps. I put watercoloring book, old book pages because I really like the look of that. So I put those together and made that. Here's another one of those tags. I'm trying to use stamps, I'm trying to use up um, stuff from my, my ephemera stash because I, you know, collect it, but I need to use it. Here's an old book paper on the back. It's like an impressionist painting. And this one turned out kind of cool. I'm, I'm a stargazer, so I've got this nighttime theme going on here with the moon. And I printed, I bought a digital and printed the succulent stamp on there. I like the black, it kind of pops. And then co connected a key to that. I love those little key charms that I have. They just go with everything. This rose paper is really fun. Painted the back of that. Oh, and I did use a, uh, what is it, Glimmer Mist. Here's one of those folders, mini folders that you can get, fun to include. I got this element from Your Creative Studio, and I've been getting their monthly box, and I just love it. it it's given me a lot of good stuff to use in journals. So anyway, Rose is our chassis favorite flower. I stitched this ruffle. I just, you know, you just bunch it under and put it through the sewing machine. I'm almost done using up this, um, this trim though that I got on sale at Clarence at Hobby Lobby. So I'm kind of sad about that because it's so pretty. Took a couple of the scraps, made a pocket, put them in there. Bright green colors on this one. Some trim from a trim package that I got at Hobby Lobby. There's some of that book paper that's painted. I just love how vintagey this is. And 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 red, white, and blue in summary. And this little seed packet, which is from Target. They had them a few years ago. They probably still have them. I don't know. Oh yeah, here's the authentic time spent in the cultivation of the fields passes very pleasantly written by Ovid put some scraps here in this chassis to use another oh, graph paper page this one I distress with bluish ink I think it's it's I think it's blue china the Tim Holtz one oh and I incorporated some of these real flowers too into this journal I got those for Mother's Day from my brother, Ken. 
this is from one of those subscription boxes from your creative studio I'm trying to use up stuff from my stash more labels and here's the back side of those pages this washi is from your creative studio I did use a lot from that I put more you know just little elements that you can collage together or use however she wants from your creative studio I love how the green just pops in this oh, so summery a stamp from your creative studio oh this pin so with that with that washi it's like all this bumblebee and sewing themed supplies that you can find and they were with the embroidery flosses in Hobby Lobby so there's scrapbooking type supplies but they're in the sewing area so that was fun I sewed this little piece here and then stuck the pin in there she love that it's a rose of course here's another one of those trims where you just put scraps down on masking tape and sew I really like that I that's gonna be one of my new faves to do some more labels um, the good earth I thought that was a good one <laughs> This is a vintage uh, library card that I got from my vintage library that I work in at the high school. <laughs> it, is, it is an old an old library. Here's a bridge card. I think I got the bridge cards at a thrift store, but it may have been Tuesday morning. They just look old, too old to be Tuesday morning, but. Oh yeah, sewed a little bit of lace along here. And the lace has blue on it, but you can't really tell because the, the vellum is blue. These papers are really fun. Okay, so I'm gonna open this, put some things in here, some elements. This is tips from Country Gardeners. <laughs> Another one of uh, one of those seed envelopes for Chassie, in case she wants to use it. She actually gardens. She does, she's a huge gardener and does canning and all kinds of stuff. It's really awesome. A couple more of those envelopes, and these are the ones with windows in them. There's a little scrap from my paper scraps another tag using um, collage with some guest check stuff those were so fun to make I was just feeling inspired and page from an old cookbook and it has through the garden salad so I thought that would be fun to include then on the very last page I include the jar of jelly poem since my crafty friend likes to can and so that poem I tore the sides off of it from this old magazine and they're so colorful so I use those as trims for the pages leading up to it just show they just show canned goods and stuff this is another tag I tried this fancy sewing stitch but it didn't really work for what I was thinking it would do. <laughs> anyway, um, but the tag is nice. Use up some of my flowers in my stash, which I have a ton of flowers. I need to use them. I just think that old magazine paper is just so fun. And that is the end of my journal for Chastity. I sure hope you enjoyed this flip through. And if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you enjoy watching crafty videos and you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, everybody.